Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Hit Zero Podcast. Very excited to do this this episode because it is addressing a question that I get almost every day in the clinic when I'm treating patients. Um, it is perfectly suited for you guys as well for cheer because I use this product with every cheer athlete that I work with, essentially. Anytime I treat someone, um, we always will apply uh, KT tape, kine- uh, kinesio tape, rock tape, um, something like that. So I wanted to answer the question of what is rock tape? What is KT tape? What does it do? And is it for you? <clears throat> and so this episode is going to cover all those questions and we can just dive right in. So there are lots of different brands of kinesio tape. Now, for those that are unfamiliar, kinesio tape is the stuff that you see on people's bodies. Um, usually in some sort of athletic setting. It got really popular um, a few years back in the Olympics. There was one of the beach volleyball players uh, that was using KT tape or kinesio tape, and it took off like wildfire. So before you know it, everybody's talking about what is this tape that she's wearing? What does it do? Does it help? Can I use it? Should I use it? On and on and on. And so kinesio tape actually has been around for quite some time. It's been around for decades. It has, it's not a new thing, um, but anytime there's something being used by you know top-level athletes, people are going to be curious, and they're going to want to know what it is, and they're going to want to know, is it going to make me any better? So <clears throat> I use kinesio tape on a daily basis um, with patients because it does a lot of things, and so we're going to cover what those things are. There are a few brands that you can find. There's tons of brands that actually have an athletic kinesio tape. And when I say kinesio tape, I'm talking about an elastic tape. Now, we're not talking about the white athletic tape that you typically see ankle sprains or sometimes wrists wrapped with. That's a different type of tape. What we're talking about here is a is an elastic tape that is worn for longer periods of time. Typically with athletic tape, we're looking at while we're doing the you know the activity and the reason is that it limits range of motion so it's actually almost like it's like a a, a version of a cast essentially it it limits range of motion as it's designed to um, and you you want to take it off when you're done with athletics um, because it limits range of motion however kinesio tape is flexible if you've ever used it it's got a paper backing on it so it's not a roll of tape that's stuck to itself. It actually has a roll of uh, a layer of paper that it is attached to. And when you apply it, you actually pull the paper off. And when you put it on your skin, you notice that the tape moves with you. So there are different brands of kinesio tape. One that you see really often is KT tape. And KT tape and the term kinesio tape, they get kind of interchanged. Kinesio tape is the style of tape and KT tape is the brand that a lot of people see. This is the one that's typically sold in like Walmart, um, at Academy or Dick's Sporting Goods. Um, sometimes I've seen it at like pharmacies can carry it from time to time. But a lot of times what you'll see is it'll come in pre-cut strips that are about a foot long. So that's your KT tape. Another brand that's really popular is Rock Tape. Rock Tape is the brand that I use on a consistent basis, I went through Rock Tape's certification, um, as they call it, to be a rock doc. So um, took the certification, and so I use Rock Tape exclusively. Um, I've used KT Tape and Rock Tape. They're both good products, uh, but I do I do use Rock Tape um, more than any other. Their consistency with their their product is very very good. Um, there's you know you never have those hit or miss of the tape was sticky and then it maybe wasn't sticky. They have a very consistent product. Excuse me. A very big fan of of their their products and um, plan to use those for the foreseeable future. Um, There's some other brands like Spider Tech um, and things like that that um, are lesser known brands, still very, very good products. Um, And then for some people, there are versions of the products that are for people that have sensitive skin or maybe have a latex allergy. Um, some tapes have latex. I know a lot of tapes have moved away from latex, so it's usually pretty safe to to use KT tape, um, Rock Tape, or Spider Tech, some of the other brands. Um, but the brand again that I go with, Rock Tape, um, and so we have the different types and the applications for 
kinesio tape can be similar to what we would use white athletic tape for, but in the big picture, it is very different. So with a white athletic tape, usually your goal is immobilization. We're trying to provide additional support, rigid support um, for a joint or for an area. With kinesio tape, our goals are a little bit different. So the first question that gets asked is, can it help with pain or what does it do for pain? So there's a mechanism in your brain. It's really, really cool. And everybody listening to this has experienced this mechanism, whether they realize it or not. So there's a mechanism called the gate theory. And what the gate theory means is that your brain will prioritize an input over other inputs, right? So if there's a bigger, stronger signal coming to your brain, your brain will close one gate to open up the priority gate to the bigger stimulus, okay? And so the example of this that everybody knows of is if you've either burned or, or like smashed your finger somehow or hurt your finger, one of the first things that people will do is they'll either shake their hand really, really, really hard or they'll suck on it. They'll suck their finger. Now, if you've ever bumped your knee, you may like rub your knee real hard, ow, 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 ow. Similar concept. But pain travels from the injury site to your brain on a skinny little nerve fiber. It feels like it's big, right? But it's, it's a skinny nerve fiber in comparison, okay? Things like vibration, pressure, and temperature change, that information travels on a bigger fiber, an A fiber, real big guy. So when you hurt your hand, if you're shaking really hard, and it hurts, ow, 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 and then what do we do? We test it, nope, 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 still hurts, let me shake harder. And you keep doing that until it stops hurting. That shaking is vibration. So you're stimulating the vibration receptors in your fingers. If you've ever burned your finger or you pricked your finger and you suck on it, that's the pressure change. So that's stimulating pressure receptors. Same thing like when you bump your knee and you rub it real hard, ow, 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 ow. That's the pressure receptors. And then everybody knows when you get hurt, you put ice on it. Some people put heat, but that temperature change, again, overrides the pain and the brain prioritizes that input, okay? So when we apply the KT tape to an injury site, we're stimulating some of the pressure receptors. So we're stimulating that input over the pain. And that's how, one of the mechanisms, how KT or kinesio tape, sorry, um, helps to mitigate pain. So the second thing that it can be used for is it's compressive, right? So it's an elastic tape that can be compressed around a joint. So let's say when I have somebody that has an ankle sprain, I don't want to fully immobilize that ankle. I want them to be able to use it, but I want to give it a little bit of extra support. So with that swollen ankle that I want them to use, I can use kinesio tape to wrap around the ankle to provide some compression and some support without locking the ankle down. That will help give a little bit of ex sense of extra of stability for that, for that athlete or that person. And the compression will help to bring the swelling down, which is very, very important. Now that segues into another thing that kinesio tape can do, and that helps with bruising. So keep in mind when the tape is on your skin, when you move around, your skin will do this with the tape on it. So it creates almost like a pumping mechanism that's pumping fluid in and out from underneath your skin. And what you'll find when you use kinesio tape over something like a contusion, which a contusion is just a really big, deep bruise. Um, like imagine like um, if you fell out of a stunt and you landed on the side of your leg really hard on the floor and you got a giant bruise on the side of your thigh. That would be a contusion, okay? So there are actually some images circulating online of people that use kinesio tape to reduce the bruising from contusions. It's actually really, really cool. Wherever you put the tape down, that pumping mechanism of the skin helps to pump that bruising out, which is really cool. So it can help accelerate the clearing out of bruising and things of that nature, which is really cool. Um, one of the other things it can, can do um, is it can help you, or what kinesio, can, can, kinesio tape can do is it can help you with your posture. So very similar to how we kind of supported a joint in the body, we can use kinesio tape to support areas in the body. So one thing that I 
will do often when I have somebody that I'm treating that has some sort of shoulder or neck pain is I'll tape them into a better posture. Now it's not rigid, it's not like they're wearing a vest and their arms are locked back, but the tape is, again, it's elastic. So we put them into a good posture and we lay the tape over their shoulders, down their back, and then when they get out of that posture, the tape kind of tugs on their skin and reminds them, oh yeah, let me make sure I stand back up. So for those that are looking at like the posture straps, um, some of those devices that are out there for posture, you can use KT tape or Kinesio tape, Rock tape, <laughs> whichever brand you use, can help to be a guide for your posture. Very, very, very helpful. The, one of the things I love about using Kinesio tape versus some of the other tapes is the time frame that you can wear it. So because it is elastic, because it's an athletic tape, it's actually waterproof and sweatproof. So you can actually shower with your KT tape on and you just pat it dry. I wouldn't air dry it with your hair dryer, but you can pat it dry. And most of the times what you'll see is that it'll stay and be effective for anywhere from three to four days, which is really cool. So now you're getting, you're getting your money's worth out of your tape versus that white athletic tape where you pretty much are cutting it off within you know a couple of hours. So you get a lot more benefit out of the Kinesio tape uh, long-term wise and time duration wise than you would some of the other tapes. Now again, different applications, you know, unstable joints, things we want to lock down, your white athletic tape is going to be much more beneficial than using Kinesio tape. But Kinesio tape does have its place in the athletic realm and the more that people use it, um, the more popularity it gains and the more research that's done um, to help further our understanding of exactly how it can help people. So. For those that are curious about Kinesio Tape, there is a brief overview of Kinesio Tape. Um, and if you've considered getting it, again, some of the places you can get it, you can order it online, obviously. Um, but some of the places that are commonly sold, places like Walmart, Target, uh, look in the sporting goods section or the pharmacy. Um, any of the sporting goods stores, they also tend to carry it. And there's a lot of resources on YouTube where it can show you how to apply it. There are definitely some things that you want to keep in mind when using Kinesio Tape. Um, it's really easy to want to stretch the tape all the way before you lay it down. That's a big no-no because then the stretch is too great and it can actually pull your skin off. And that sounds kind of crazy, but if you pull the tape, tape too tight before you lay it down, that can cause um, blisters and it can actually pull your skin. So you wouldn't want to do that. It's a really common mistake. Um, and if you do decide to get a big roll of the tape, a little trick I'd like to tell you is before you lay it on your body, you know, you have to cut it to the length that you want. A, you know, an, an easy thing to remember is you want to round the edges of the strip. The reason for that is, think about band-aids. Band-aids don't have square edges, they have rounded edges. And the reason is a rounded edge is harder to peel up and to peel off than a square edge. So when you're using this tape, if you have a squared off edge, it's gonna peel back and come off a whole lot easier which shortens the time frame that you can actually get the effective use out of the tape. So what you'll find on those pre-cut strips, you'll actually see not only are they pre-cut, but the edges are rounded. And that's so that it helps to stay on your skin a little bit longer. So a couple little tips and tricks for you guys. If you have questions about Kinesio tape, any of the brands, KT tape, Rock tape, Spider Tech, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, shoot me a message. Leave your comments below. Let me know if you have questions there. We can definitely want to make sure that um, you guys get all the answers that you need. Uh, to determine if you wanted to try some Kinesio tape or if it's something that you've been considering um, adding to your arsenal um, to keep yourself healthy and pain-free while cheering. So thank you guys so much for joining us for this episode. If you liked this episode, give me a thumbs up, leave your comments below. If you would like to see more episodes of the podcast, click the link above. As always, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications so you can stay up to date when we release new videos, and we will catch you on the next one. See ya.